Today I'm gonna to share with you some home defense tips to make sure you never experience a home invasion. If you don't know me, my name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer. I'm married, I got six kids, so I definitely have some important things I wanna protect. Please welcome back former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Former CIA Jason Hansen. This handsome fella is Jason Hansen. Okay. This is Jason Hansen, former CIA guy. Now, one of the most important things, and my number one tip, the first tip, when it comes to surviving a home invasion, making sure you never have one, is you wanna case your house, you wanna case your neighborhood. So in the spy world, you case places. So that means you know where the cameras are in an area, you know where the one-way streets, you know where there's construction, you know where people come and go. Now, it's very important that you do this because criminals do the same thing. So I'll tell you the best way, also speaking of casing in the spy world, you wanna know the best way to case someplace and make sure you're never detected? It's to have your cover be as someone who's exercising, jogging, running. The beauty of that is you're walking around a neighborhood and area, you've got your earbuds in and you're dressed in your jogging clothes, you've maybe got one of those armbands that blink so people can see you're walking around when it's dark. Nobody gives them a second look. Nobody pays attention to it at all. So in the spy world, you can do this if you're casing a place because you just go around the same time every day, nobody thinks twice because people usually exercise at the same day. So don't turn to a life of crime, but if you're going to, that's how you case a place, make sure you're not caught. Anyways, going back to our homes and out of the spy world, as I said, criminals do the same thing. They case a place. They're walking around saying, which home offers me the path of least resistance? Which home in this neighborhood is gonna allow me to get in, get out quickly without being detected? So what you want to do is you want to case your own neighborhood. Go for a walk. Don't do this in a car because you learn so much more information when you have boots on the ground, you're walking around. Walk around your neighborhood and by the time you're done, if you say, hey, my house has the least security measures, well then obviously you need to fix that. So how do you fix that? Well, here's tip number two. To make sure that you have a good perimeter exterior home defense measures set up. What does that mean simply? Have an alarm sign. Alarms are cheap. They're 20, 25 bucks a month. Everybody should have one. If for some reason you don't want to get an alarm, which I recommend you do, then go online, spend 15 bucks for an alarm uh, sign that you can stick in your yard from eBay, Amazon, whatever. But try and get an alarm. Also, in addition to having an alarm sign, have cameras. You want cameras all around your house. Very important. I like my cameras to be hardwired into the home. You can also, of course, use wireless cameras, but you should have them everywhere. Very important. Here's a quick funny story. I do home security audits. So super wealthy people bring me into their drug dealer mansions. I call them drug dealer mansions because it looks like Tony Montana lives there. But they bring me into these mansions and I do a home security audit. I tell them, here's where you need a camera. You know, I make sure they're protected because they've got a lot of stuff inside. Well, one time I had a guy bring me in and he wasn't a super rich person. He had more of a normal house. And I'm telling him, hey, you need cameras around this house. Well, for some reason or another, and he could definitely afford it, he decides he doesn't want to get cameras. So I say, well, the next best alternative is you can go online, spend, you know, 15, 20 bucks for plastic cameras. They look the exact same thing as a real camera. Nobody's really going to tell the difference. So he puts up these fake cameras around his house. About six months after this, he calls me and he says, hey, Jason, guess what? My neighbor just had their home broken into. Nobody touched my house. Isn't that great news? I'm like, okay, good, good deal. And he says, but the police came over to my house and they wanted me to pull the security footage from my cameras. So we obviously had to told the, uh, tell the police they weren't real cameras and there was no security footage. I still encourage the guy to get real cameras all around your house. In addition to cameras, you want motion sensor lights. I recommend solar motion sensor lights. That way if the electricity goes out, they're still going on. And of course, solar motion sensor lights are cheap. They last forever. I've had them on my house for years without replacing them. If you have a dog, awesome. If you don't, still have a dog bowl, still have some chew toys around. Again, if a criminal is casing your house and he sees that you have a dog or thinks you have a dog, he doesn't want to get bit. He doesn't want DNA evidence left behind. He doesn't want that dog barking. So he's going to go to the neighbors who show absolutely no signs of having any type of dog. If you have a fence, great. If not, I mean, you don't have to spend the money on the fence. It's not, not huge. I mean, the best things to do are the alarm sign, the motion sensor lights, security cameras. So make your house look better than your neighbor's house. Now, let's talk about the interior. What happens, heaven forbid, worst case scenario, that at 3 a.m. your front door is getting kicked in or your back door or wherever. This is a Walther PDP. 
I love guns, you know, SIG. Remington RP9, by the way, is a great gun. It's a redheaded stepchild of guns. It gets no respect, it's Rodney Dangerfield of guns. But I love the Remington RP9, works great. I teach a lot of pistol classes, never had an issue with it. So Glock, of course, well known. Uh, you know, just whatever you're gonna get, get a good gun. Um, this one, as I said, is a Walther. It's got a Trigicon red dot. It's got a Surefire light under here. If you don't want to put a light on there, you actually absolutely got to have a light somewhere. So it just means you're going to have a flashlight. You're going to hold that flashlight in your hand. As I said earlier, I've got to go out. I have six kids. And my old house where I lived, and I have fewer kids at the time, all the bedrooms were upstairs. What does that mean? That means if I had a home invasion, I could go to the choke point. So the choke point, in most places, is the top of the stairs. So I grab my gun flashlight, go to the top of the stairs, say, you know, hey, I've got a gun, get out of my house. And if somebody's stupid enough to run up the stairs, then I use my gun, I stop the threat, I defend myself. You know, piece of cake, right? Well, in my new house, and because I've had more kids since then, I've got bedrooms upstairs, I've got bedrooms in the basement. This means I can't just go to the choke point and sit there with a gun, hoping the guy, you know, the criminal leaves the house. Because the criminal could get to one of my kids in the basement. So I've got to treat it as an active shooter situation, meaning when there's an active shooter in a mall or somewhere, the police don't just sit there and wait for backup. They've got to go stop that active shooter immediately. I've got to do the same thing for a home invasion. So I grab my gun, grab my flashlight, and I've got to go out there and stop the intruder before he gets to my kids. The good news is I know my home layout better than anybody else, so I can get out fast. If you can't have your gun and flashlight in your hand in 10 seconds or less and be rocking and rolling out of there, you're doing something wrong. Another thing I recommend on the interior is glass breaker alarms. The reason you want glass breaker alarms is if somebody tries to break the glass, it sets off an annoying loud sound and that'll notify you if something's going on. That was a good try run. That was a good test, making sure that everything worked right. So try your home defense plan. It should be simple, meaning set your alarm for 2 a.m. Gun flashlight, out the door, take care of business. Now, I train a lot of people. Some don't like guns, which is fine to each his own. I love guns. I carry concealed every single day. I've got a Sig Sauer uh, P365 in my pocket right now, spear gold dot rounds. However, if you don't want guns or maybe you live in an apartment and penetration, you're worried about that, I'll show you some alternatives that people I train use. One time I was training a fellow and he says, hey, my wife doesn't like guns. I promised her I would not have around in the chamber. I told him it was a bad idea, but hey, if that's what he promised his wife, that's what he's got to do. One night when he was asleep, all of a sudden somebody starts pounding on his front door. He grabs his gun, flashlight, goes to the front door. He's screaming, you know, I've got a gun, get away. He said for about 20 seconds, somebody's pounding on his door like they're going to break it in. After about 20 seconds, it stops. His wife calls the police. The police come and find out it was some guy who was high on drugs going around the neighborhood trying to kick on doors or kick in doors, but everybody was fine. So everything was good. However, this guy told me, he said, when I'd calmed down, you know, when my adrenaline had, you know, calmed down a bit, I realized I was sitting there at the front door pointing a gun that had no round in the chamber because I did not remember to chamber the round. So if that guy would have kicked in the door, well, guess what? He would have gone click and that guy would have been on top of him. So always have a loaded gun. I mean, if you're a responsible gun owner, if you train, it's a no brainer not to have a loaded gun uh, because in a high stress situation, you will not remember to chamber that round. When it comes to home offense, I said it earlier, keep it super simple. Case your neighborhood, Make sure your exterior looks good. Make sure whether you're using a gun, a tomahawk, whatever you're using, you have some weapon to defend yourself. And I pray that you never experience a home invasion.